it helps me cope with stress. About forty percent of smokers say smoking helps them deal with the stress. Women tend to give this reason more than men, and younger smokers give it more than older smokers. Do you think smoking helps you cope with stress? If so, let me give you some facts and see what you think after that. Fact number one. Smokers report higher levels of stress than people who have never smoked. Fact number two. When smokers stop, after about a week, they report their levels of stress going down, not up. Fact three. If they start smoking again, their stress levels to go back up again. Fact four. If you put people who don't normally smoke in a stressful situation and give them nicotine their stress levels go up not down fact number five drugs that reduce anxiety do not help smokers to stop it seems to me that smoking is actually causing stress not helping with it so why are so many smokers convinced that smoking is helping them cope what i think is happening is this we know that after a couple of hours of not smoking, your brain starts to miss its nicotine fix. You get edgy, restless, and you start to feel a bit down. Your brain has got used to nicotine and is now experiencing withdrawal symptoms because your nicotine levels are falling. Then you have a cigarette and Ah, uh, bless relief. So you think that smoking has helped with the stress, when all it has done is to restore you to where you would have been if you hadn't smoked. I hope I have convinced you that smoking has merely tricked you into thinking is helping with the stress. There are plenty of other ways of tackling stress that actually do work. Smoking's effect on your heart rate. By the way, when you quit smoking, there are also some physical symptoms we measure in our studies that you wouldn't notice yourself. One of this is that your heart rate, pulse, goes down on average. It goes down by about 8 beats per minute. In the first study I ever did on smoking, we measured smokers' heart rates before they stopped and up to 10 days afterwards. These were heavy smokers. Heavy smokers and the average drop in heart rate was actually 15 beats per minute. We also drew blood so that we could measure their blood nicotine levels and concentrations of various other chemicals that are related to stress, such as adrenaline and cortisol. A lot of doctors think that your adrenaline levels increase when you stop smoking because they see stopping as stressful, but in fact, they go down. Nicotine raises your adrenaline, adrenaline, adrenaline output, and when you take the nicotine away, it goes down. You can monitor your own heart rate by taking your pulse. You might have learned how to do this at school. It is very simple and worth doing. When you stop smoking, you will be able to tell the difference. To take your pulse, you simply need to get a watch or clock with a second hand. If you have a watch on, take it off. You are going to time 30 seconds. 2. Put your left arm out. Palm up. Take the first two fingers of your right hand and place them quite lightly on your left wrist. 3. Count the number of times the pulse occurs over a 30 second interval. 4. Now, 
double that number that is your pulse rate your pulse rate will probably be around 80 beats per minute is unlikely to be less than 60 unless you are pretty fit or more than 90 when you stop smoking it will almost certainly go down quite a bit